there. So normally when insulin comes to the liver, it, well, it does all kinds of things, but it wants to tell the liver to store glucose as glycogen. So all the glucose that's coming into the liver, it wants it to lock it up. And it also wants the liver to turn any excess glucose into fat. So activating a process called lipogenesis. And this can be stored in the liver a little bit, and some of it can be uh, emitted from the liver in VLDL and LDL. So the liver's way of moving fat around the body. Uh, so when the liver becomes insulin resistant, the insulin is still promoting lipogenesis. That pathway, that pathway, that biochemical pathway is not compromised. It is not insulin resistant. However, the glycogenesis or the stimulation of the liver to take in and store glucose is compromised. And so normally insulin would be telling the liver to store glucose, but that isn't working anymore. And now, even though insulin is high, the liver starts releasing glucose when it's supposed to be storing it. Now this ends up really feeding into a big problem because if you already have high glucose, and the liver would be a place where insulin's trying to tuck the glucose away but it's starting to release more glucose, which is trying to then result, that res would result in more insulin, which feeds more insulin resistance, which just starts to perpetuate the problem. Um, the idea of oral inflammation from like a, a gum infection, um, gingivitis or, or, or periodontitis, where that is then contributing a genuine inflammatory load throughout the rest of the body. Um, in fact, we published a paper from my lab uh, in multiple papers at this point where we detailed um, uh, lipopolysaccharide, a common um, pro-inflammatory molecule, like a remnant from bacteria, that comes from a common gum or oral infection, P. gingivalis. And we documented where this, this pro-inflammatory molecule from oral infections is very pro-inflammatory throughout the body and explicitly activates um, a process within the cells that creates insulin resistance. Uh, the, the process is fascinating. It's kind of detailed, so I won't get into it, but we've published papers on this where LPS is directly stimulating insulin resistance. So I, I certainly present uh, a fat first perspective that, infl that insulin resistance starts in the fat cells, but you mentioned one that is also very, very relevant uh, where it could in fact start from, from the mouth.